The acid-base properties of heterocycles are the subject of this webcast and the next. By the end of these two webcasts, you should have the ability to rationalize the differences in pKa between a variety of heterocycles. We'll see that pKa differences between heterocycles result from three factors. The hybridization of lone pairs, the nature of substituents attached to the ring system, and resonance delocalization in charged heterocycles. For each factor, we'll set up a comparison that highlights its importance. Let's begin with hybridization. Here you see pyridine and its fully saturated relative, piperidine. Acid-base equilibria for both compounds are shown. We can see from the pKa's given underneath each equilibrium that pyridine is significantly more acidic than piperidine. Why is this the case? One way to rationalize this pKa difference is to consider the hybridization of the lone pairs in each neutral conjugate base. Recall that the amount of S character present in an atomic hybrid is related to its stability. Orbitals containing more S character are more stable. We can calculate S character for each of the three types of hybrid orbitals by calculating the percentage of the hybrid that is derived from an atomic S orbital. Those percentages are listed here. We should also note that as the percentage of S goes up, both anion and lone pair stability also go up. On the other hand, the stability of the corresponding conjugate acids decreases as the amount of S character increases. Returning to the pyridine and piperidine equilibria, notice that the hybridization of the lone pair in pyridine is sp2, while the lone pair in piperidine is sp3 hybridized. Thus, we would expect pyridine to be less basic and more acidic than piperidine. The pKa's bear this out. Notice that this observation runs counter to what we would expect based on resonance delocalization. Despite the extra resonance in the conjugate acid of pyridine, it is less basic than piperidine. The greater S character of pyridine's lone pair is the controlling factor here. Now let's turn our attention to substituent effects. We have seen previously that substituents can profoundly influence the behavior of benzene rings in electrophilic and nucleophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Electron donating substituents, which present a lone pair in a 2pz orbital adjacent to the ring, activate the ring as an electron donor or nucleophile. Electron withdrawing substituents, which present a low-lying unfilled pi star orbital adjacent to the ring, activate the ring as an electrophile. Recall that nucleophilicity correlates well with basicity, and electrophilicity correlates well with acidity. Thus, we should expect substituents to have a related influence on the acidity and basicity of heterocycles. Indeed, this table shows us that, as we would expect, electron donating groups such as dimethylamino and methoxy increase the basicity of pyridine's lone pair, while electron withdrawing groups such as nitro render the lone pair less basic. Try drawing resonance structures of the conjugate acids 4-aminopyridinium and 3-nitropyridinium to rationalize their pKa difference.